Welders generally need to do a lot of metal cutting in preparation for welding. Plasma cutting lets you really zip across a piece of material, speeding the work and decreasing operator fatigue. While it's certainly possible to do freehand cutting with a plasma torch, you can often get greater accuracy by using a guide. For repeated cutting of complex shapes, you can make a simple guide from a non-flammable material. So here's a pattern used for plasma cutting that I've cut out of hardboard. These can only be used for occasional cutting, but for a few parts it works quite well. So the way this pattern was made was actually from a drawing. And I prepared this drawing in a special way because the opening for the window in the pattern is larger than the finished cut will get. That's because the cutting tip on the plasma torch is 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. So this outer line is spaced 3 sixteenths out from the inner line. Also the outer line of my pattern is 3 sixteenths of an inch in from where the finished edge will be cut on the part. So here's the pattern. We'll get this clamped into place and then use the plasma torch to cut all around this part. So you can see just how fast and efficient the plasma cutting process is. It's a super speedy way to cut metal and it leaves a pretty darn good surface. But one of the real beauties of the plasma cutting process is that you can do extremely intricate freehand cutting when you need to. Many artists use this process to create complicated cuts in a variety of materials with results that are often striking.